The one thing that hurts military spouse careers the most is not the deployments, which is what we think about, you know, that poor little lady with her two babies in her arms and the red, white, and blue sweater. Yeah, that's not her problem. Her problem is the moves and that we require military to move every, it's on average, every two and a half years, which is devastating to a military spouse career. I am a Navy wife. My husband promised me he'd get out of the Navy after five years, and that was many, many years ago. I've trained thousands of active duty members, National Guard, reservists, some special forces, and of course, spouses, mostly on how to make their lives better and their work lives better. At military.com, we just did a survey of our veteran employment project users, which includes spouses. And 56% of them said that they wanted a job they could keep at least five years. We know for the employer that hiring a new employee represents a risk. And the higher the amount you're gonna pay them, the more the risk. And so employers are really reluctant to hire military spouses because it is an unspoken thing in so many areas that um, the military spouse is just gonna leave. They're just going to leave. And so why invest in that person? And that's really a myth, especially when you consider how many spouses are motivated to get jobs and wanna keep these jobs. For literally decades, we have been begging employers to take on spouses and let them do their jobs virtually. So many jobs can be done virtually. And employers, especially in the big military hubs, like in Norfolk and Jacksonville and San Diego, um, they have been very reluctant to do this. They want everybody in the building. And when COVID hit, everybody had to be out of the building. And I think we've changed the country where we realized, yeah, we want them in the building sometimes, but work really can be done remotely. And for military spouses who are doing all that moving, that can be the difference between keeping the job you have that you're doing well and losing another job again. Is suddenly there is a new openness to working from home. And that is important whether you're a military spouse or a, a civilian worker. What's important is so often in the literature before that, we have read about how families have trouble because they just don't have enough hours in the week. And now when we're having an openness to say a four day a week work week from the office and one day at home. This is what I'm hoping for my own daughter and my own son, that their families, that both my daughter and my son can do a four day work week and then a one day at home week, or even three and two, or, you know, two and two. One of the, you know, that kind of change where you start focusing on getting the work done is really exciting. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.